I never did complete high school. I dropped out of the eighth grade. When I left in Indiana at 18, I started working for the government, doing government contract work to the military, working on aircrafts and cars at the same time. We was doing restoration work, and I needed to have a GED, so I got laid off from there. I got back into my old patterns of my old lifestyle, and I needed to get out of it instead of continue doing the wrong thing. Back in February of 2016, I went and got my GED and completed it. I almost didn't want to do it, but then I showed up and after about a couple months of going there, it clicked in my head that it's doing something better for me as a person, not even just knowledgeable, not even just a piece of paper. It's a routine, but it's also, uh, it's helpful. The GED teacher, he was, he was really thrilled. He listened. They helped me out as far as the guidance part and they, they moved me around to other people and that's kind of what led me to where I'm at. The other opportunities that kind of opened up to me was the workforce, you know, in the automotive industry. The apprenticeship program helps you, guide you, and get you out in the real world and get you prepared for everyday living. Working here, it's a lot more hands-on and I'm able to do a lot more and learn really, really quick because it's a work environment, you know, you're working on customers' cars on a daily basis. But there's stuff in school that I cannot learn here. I'm able to live in the real world and the upgrades that they're making on vehicles, I'm able to learn in the, in the, in the, the school using the diagnostic tools, you know, the, the, the reading material makes me understand a lot more about the history of, of automotive. It gave me a way better outlook on my life because I kept thinking of, of what I'd done in the past and what I'm doing today. Because I kept thinking, you know, I would never be able to get my GED. I never thought I'd be into a trade school or college. I never thought I'd have a good job. I never thought I'd be doing anything that, I was, that I'm doing right now.